Hey you guys, welcome to Consume the Goodness. My name is Kendra, I'm a certified lifestyle and weight management specialist and this channel is all about healthy living and living well in easy, real life ways coming from somebody who understands balancing a healthy lifestyle and real life challenges. My goal here is to help you guys consume the goodness physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, any way that I am possibly able to help you guys do that. I love God's word. I love health, I love to combine those two things, and I love to help people, which is what I hope to do here. So, today's video is about time management. When we want something badly enough, we will put the time in for it, right? When something is important to us, we will make time for it. But, wait a minute. Is that always how that goes? Check this lady out. She was asked about what she wants in life. Then, hidden cameras watched her to see if what she wants lined up with how she spends her time. We have a reporter there checking things out. So, well, you'll see, just watch. Okay, yeah, what do I want in life? Well, that's easy. I want a lot of money and a lot of things that I get with all of that money. I want to be healthy and fit. I want to spend more time with God, like, you know, just be better as a Christian make good memories with my kids and my husband. Yeah, those are pretty, those are I would say the top things that I want in life. Lots of money, lots of things with that money, healthy, fit, and spend good time with my kids and my husband. Those are definitely the things that I desire the most. Right then, we heard what she wants, but let's see what the cameras show. Hey, yeah, I was just getting ready to go to work, but uh... I don't know. I don't really feel like going today. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call in. <laughs> oh no, I'll do something productive still. I'll do something good with my day. Like I, I wanna get, you know, better just with God. So I'll probably spend some time praying. It'll be good. Hi, <laughs> bye. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel very good today. So I'm gonna have to call in. Yeah. Thanks, bye bye. So she wants lots of money. She wants to get a lot of things with all of that money, but she's not willing to actually put the time in to work for the money. Hmm. What to do, what to do? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Eh. Eh. Oh, let me pray. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you do for me and for everyone and for the world. And thank you for forgiving me because I'm just so tired, I don't know. I'll come back to this. I'll, you know that I have a busy day. You know I have a lot of things that I want. I have a lot of goals to reach. So uh, I'll come back and pray it up again. Amen. Mm. Oh, what time is it? There's a Bible study starting soon. I'll do that. Right, so she wants to spend more time with God, but when it comes time to actually sit and pray or read the Bible, she decides not to, to do other things that are more meaningful. Probably get a good workout in. Eh, I'll go back to that. Hey. Pouring. Getting hungry. Oh, I might have ordered a little too much. <laughs> Whatever. Ah, oh, so she wants to be healthy and fit, but she's not willing to put the time in to actually work out or cook a healthy meal. Instead, she'd rather do that. better than reading your Bible. Oh. So she doesn't have the time to actually sit and pray and have a conversation with Jesus, but she does have time to shoot hoops. Really? Another new car? Jeez. Oh my gosh, no, you're grass. Hey mommy, you wanna watch a movie? Uh, no thanks. I'm pretty busy right now. Hold on, this is a crazy headline. Hey mommy, you wanna play, 
play a game with us and Daddy? Uh, maybe later. Uh, maybe later. These headlines today are crazy. Hey, Mommy, want to build my new Lego set? Uh, I'm kind of busy right now, but maybe tomorrow. Uh, I'm kind of tired. Okay. Okay, well, I love you. I love you too. So, she wants to make good memories with her children and her husband, but she's not willing to put her phone down long enough to play a game or watch a film with her family. Oh wow, it's already 8 o'clock at night. Man, sometimes there's just not enough time in a day. Right, I would have to say she does not manage her time very well at all. Of course there are times where things get busy. We have responsibilities, we have obligations to make money, to provide for our families. And there are also times where we want to do something but things just don't work out that way. And it's very sad and that does happen. So let's say for instance there's a loved one that you want to go see who states away but things seem to just keep preventing that from happening. There are situations like that. But there are also a lot of times where we should be spending our time better. Yes, we should take time to relax. I'm not saying don't do that. Relaxing is very important. And I know that these days a lot of the things we do are done from the mobile. Church, Bible study, staying connected with friends and family. But it is totally possible to talk to our friends and family on our phones and social media without it consuming our entire lives. A lot of what we do is done on, on our phones. Staying connected with friends and family, paying bills, sending work emails even, um, watching really good videos on YouTube or Rumble from that, uh, what is it, consume the goodness. <laughs> so much of what we do is on our phones and I get that. What about the other things though? What about wanting more but not putting time or effort into actually getting it? What about wanting more time with your family but not actually setting time aside for that? What about wanting to grow as a Christian and spend more time with God and in God's word but not actually doing those things? Finding a Bible study or a church or just opening your Bible or getting a Bible app and reading. I understand that sometimes we can't exercise like we want to because of maybe an injury or a medical complication. but. We still, we still should do what we can, when we can. What about wanting to be healthy and fit, but not putting time into working out and not putting time into, or effort into choosing healthy foods and exercising when we can, as often as we can, to our ability? Or what about the time we spend when we want to be a good child of God to a good father, but we don't put any time into seeking him in everything that we do. To get in his word, to pray, to hear his message through church or Bible study or videos of a preacher in a Bible-based church. To worship, to share his word. Or wanting a good relationship with our children and our family but not even taking the time to look up from our phones while they're talking to us. What are your priorities? Write them down. Pick five. Your top five priorities. And write them down. And then put that on your nightstand or on your bathroom mirror or somewhere where you're going to see it every day and dedicate time to those five things. You've got to remember that this is the only life we get. How are you choosing to spend your time? So, after you write those five things down, stop and ask yourself, how much time do I actually spend on these things versus things that are not on that list, versus things that maybe really don't need to be prioritized over other things. This is the only life we get. Let's spend our time well. That's our top story for today. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for Pastor Stewart and Jennifer Guthrie at Family Bible Fellowship. That would be one of the good ways to spend your time. Please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and share this as far and wide as you possibly can. Get a good message out there. I love you all. Kendra loves you all as well. <laughs> God bless and hope to have you back for the next one. Cheerio! Good day! I kind of had a mix of Australian like I was kind of talking about what I wanted to do here. Okay, so I had a little bit of that and then I had some British like, sorry about that. So I'll say cheerio and good day.